Hi everyone, it's Simon. Okay, this is a uh, introduction into a short video series I'm going to put together where I describe the conversion of this helicopter, my Hobby King HK450 GT, from a uh, model with a flybar equipped helicopter, and uh, that's uh, mechanical cyclic stabilization, into a helicopter with a flybarless rotor head. Um, electronic cyclic stabilization. Okay, just uh, bear with me while I reach over and grab a model that I've converted to flybarless before. Okay, here's another 450 helicopter, and as you can see, it's got a flybarless rotor head aboard. Okay, and just down here on the side, there's the Taro Z. Y, X, three axis gyro that gives the uh, electronic cyclic stabilization. Okay, so what are the advantages of the um, flybarless rotor head over the flybar rotor head? Well, just looking at the uh, screen now, we can see that the flybarless rotor head is a more mechanically simpler design. So this has a, um, the advantage that, well, it should be more efficient, it should be more lightweight and should give us longer flight times. Because there's less joins and linkages, it should be, uh, gives less scope for imperfections to uh, spoil the flight. So it should be a, a tighter head. The uh, plane of the rotor discs sits lower on the helicopter, as you can probably see. So uh, the helicopter should be more agile with a flybarless rotor head. So the roll rate and the flip rate should be faster. But the advantages aren't just exclusive to uh, 3D or aerobatic pilots and their needs. Scale flyers will like the flybarless head as well because, um, well, it looks more scale-like. It looks really good with um, scale canopies, for example. Okay, um, it should just be said at this point that whilst there are advantages, there are a couple of downsides to the conversion too. The biggest one is the flybarless um, setup, particularly the gyro, can be quite a fussy setup, uh, very vibration sensitive, so you've got to, got to build a really smooth and well balanced helicopter to get the best out of the gyro, or else you will probably see wags or wobbles. Um, in flight. And the other one is cost. It does add cost to the helicopter build. You may find that you need to upgrade cyclic servos um, cause the flybarless controller costs a bit of money as does the uh, rotor head. But prices are coming down quite sharply now. Just returning to an, an, an analogy actually, on a uh, flybar equipped helicopter, it was often said the one thing not to skimp on is the tail setup, the gyro and the tail servo. Well, by analogy, with a three axis gyro, you could argue the one thing not to skimp on will be the tail servo and now the cyclic servo, so that does add a little cost. And uh, here I'm using uh, InnoLab dig digital servos, which I found improve the feel of the helicopter and the quality of the flight quite a bit over cheaper options. Okay, so that just about completes the introduction of what I think will probably be a five part series. This is the first, the uh, introduction. The second I will describe building the uh, RJX type head that you can get from Hobby King for $15. The third part will be the mechanical installation. We'll talk about the servos mounting the uh, Taro ZYX gyro and uh, ensuring your helicopter is nice and smooth and uh, ready for the maiden flight. The fourth part of the video series, I'll discuss the uh, software installation and setting up and programming the gyro. And then finally, the fifth part, I shall talk about some of the uh, advanced tuning options in the uh, 
computer software that goes with this gyro. Okay, um, just as a little aside, this video I'm filming with a little keychain camera in uh, webcam mode, which uh, is working pretty well. And at the back here, there's some of the things that we're going to need to uh, for this little project: some uh, silicon grease, many cable ties, some regular grease for the um, or what do you call them? Thrust bearings, thread lock, stud lock, CA glue, some tools, some uh, digital vernier calipers, and a little brown box full of parts. How I love these little brown boxes. <laughs> okay then. So yes, on to the next part which will be building the RJX type head. Thanks for watching all, bye for now.